What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. We are going to be going over how to use your control setup in a 2023 or newer John Deere 6R. Now, the control setup is something that we are going to find on our right hand monitor. So over here, where we're going to find that is we are going to go to menu. Then we're going to go to applications. Then right up here in the top, we are going to see controls setup. Now, this is one way we can get to this screen, and this is going to be for setting up these different numbered buttons. So we're going to see these different numbers. We're also going to see different loader functions here, and then we'll have also our trigger here. This is all gonna be for our loader joystick on this page. And then if we go to the next page on our control setup, these are going to be for our iTech buttons or also for our SCVs. So a lot of customization that can be done in this control setup. Now there is another way also that you can get to this control setup. We go over and hit the same button here with the I. Once we hit that button, then we're gonna see the same screen come up. So it's gonna come back up on whichever page we left it on. Here is going to be for those joystick controls and then here is going to be for our one and two. Now, you may be asking yourself, okay, so where are these different numbered buttons that I'm seeing here on the joystick? Well, it tells you right here in Control Center where to look for each one of those buttons. So five and six are gonna be right on top of the joystick. So if we look here on our loader joystick, which is attached to your right armrest in this model, sometimes that joystick will be over here on your right hand panel, but this one is going to be on the actual armrest. We have five and six, we have seven and eight down here. We do have a nine on the front of our loader joystick handle then right back behind we're going to have that 13 and then over on the side of our hitch control here is where we're going to have one and two so a lot of times these trackers are going to come with preset defaults so what we have here on the screen are going to be your default settings so what we have set up here is for number five we have gear up number six we have gear down we've got our functions here for seven and eight and then, of course, our loader joystick functions are going to be set up just like your normal loader would. You know, back would be up, forward would be down, right, left would be to dump the bucket or curl the bucket. But we can customize everything that you see here on the screen. So to be able to do that, first thing that we have to do is we have to unlock the loader joystick. Because as we see right now, there are these little dots under each one of these numbers and all of them are grayed out. So once we unlock this and how we do that is we're gonna go back to the loader joystick here. We're gonna see our lock button. We're just gonna simply hit that. Once we do that, it's gonna say joystick lock disengage. So now it shows that our functions are all ready to go here on the screen. So now we can go in and be able to use those different functions on that loader joystick. And we can also go in and change these to whatever is fitting our operation. So if we want to go in, we go here to the tractor and we want to change what setting that does. Let's say for instance, that we wanna switch our five and six. We wanna switch it to where our gear up and gear down are in the opposite positions. Well, right now we're in gear down. So we're actually gonna change that six to gear up. So see it changed it now to gear up, it's unavailable. But now number five, if we want to put our gear down, we need to click on it, click on tractor. Then we can hit our gear down. We put it in there. Now, as you see, we do not have our green lights available. So it's showing right now that those buttons are not available. So how we get around and be able to get those to work is we need to go down here to the bottom left and hit activate custom. Once you hit activate custom, it's gonna refresh anything that you've changed and then go ahead and turn those on. So that is going to be how you customize your joystick controller right here for the loader. Then you can do that, like I said, with all of these different functions. We have the toggle switch there that's gonna be on the front of that joystick. We have our button number 13. We have our right and left, our forward and backward. And then of course our seven and eight that you can all change depending on what you want this machine to do whenever you're in it. Then we can go here to the one and two. Now, 
This is going to be for our SCVs, make sure that they are active. Here, this is going to be our iTech screen. So iTech gets a little bit more complicated. So this is going to be one of those features that you can set your tractor up to do a certain function just by hitting that one button. Let's say that we wanna set this machine up to take off at a certain speed, drop something down into the ground, and then pick back up speed or drop speed, whatever those things are, we can all set that up here in our iTech screen. So we can go to that, go to tractor. We can pick either a function for that button, or if we go back to that and we go to iTech, pick button one, we've got iTech set for one. So now what that means is, is if we go back over here to our button panel, we have an iTech button right here. We can push that. And this is the screen that we would use to set up those different functions. So we can see here that right now we've got a step number, a function, the action and the status to let you know what it's gonna do. You have your one and two over here. That's gonna let you know what function that button is going to perform whenever you press it. So you can set these up to different ones. You can set up multiple different actions in this to be able to choose this. Let's say we're wanting to set this up for when we're pulling our plow and we wanna set this up for whenever we're pulling that small planter. We can set up say one for plow, two for planter, and then have those set in this screen to be able to do those different functions. All right, now let's say that we've gotten in here and we have played with a bunch of stuff. We've changed a bunch of things. We're just getting familiar with this. Maybe we have something messed up, not in the right place we want it. And we just wanna go back to the normal settings that we had before. Don't worry, you do have that option. As you can see right down here, we have a defaults button. So we can go ahead and hit that defaults button and we can go right here to either our command arm, which is gonna be that one one and two setting over there we can hit restore for that or just restore the joystick or we can restore all those control groups so we just go ahead and hit restore that's going to refresh and reload and then once it does that you see now that our five has gone back to an up gear and our six has gone back to a down gear now remember we had switched those before just to show how you can customize all of these different functions in your control setup. So that's just a brief rundown. Those are two very important things as you are gonna get into one of these machines if you have never been before. See all of these buttons and maybe get a little bit overwhelmed. Just know that it's not as complicated as it looks. Everything has a place and an easy way to set it up. You just gotta know where to find the information. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, we just ask that you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.